The ability to deliver a confident speech or presentation is imperative if a professional or business owner is expected to be successful. Joining us today is Fred Miller of No Sweat Presentations to tell us about his two programs and give uh, pointers on public speaking. And this is something that you saw a need for a few years ago. I did. You wrote the book. Yes. <laughs> And, and you've been doing coaching ever since on public speaking. So why, why the need? Well, the fear of public speaking holds so many people back, personally and professionally. It, a lot of my individual coaching, it might start with a call. I'm sick and tired of people who don't contribute as much as I do to the company. They're getting promotions, bonuses, and recognition, but they're speaking. And they're not even that good, but I'm getting passed by for it. That fear of public speaking holds people back from doing that. And people who can master that are getting ahead in their oh. company, even if they maybe don't have all the other skills. Exactly. <laughs> my, my mantra is speaking opportunities are business, career, and leadership opportunities. Right. No one ever challenges that statement. So learn how to do this and make more money. Yeah, make yeah. more money. Feel good about yourself. It's, it's empowering. gives you those leadership opportunities. People get passed by because they're not presenting. Yeah. So why do you, where does this fear come from? Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, a couple of things about the fear of public speaking. First of all, the way I answer it is, why not? If you think about it, most of our conversations are one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. A lot of those are on the phone. You don't see the person. Mm -hmm. And more and more, people are communicating by email or text. Right. You don't see or hear them. Well, it just stands the reason if you get them from an audience of 20, 40, 60 eyeballs, like, Whoa, it's kind of out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is people have a fear of public speaking. They don't know the structure of a speech, and you can learn that. It's like the recipe of a cake. There are specific ingredients that go in at specific times in specific amounts, and if you follow that recipe, you'll give a great presentation. Also, you should not get up and speak about something you don't know about. <laughs> you have right. to have knowledge of it. You have, co have to have confidence in your confidence, and the other thing is sometimes people don't practice, mm -hmm. and you've got to practice. I, I relate that to we, we just had the Olympics in Sochi. Does anyone think those great athletes just showed up mm -hmm. <laughs> for their event? No. You have to practice. So how do you suggest that people practice public speaking? In front of their mirror or in front of groups that get gradually larger? What are some of your Good point. Tips? Both of those practice into a recorder, video, audio, practice in front of friends and family. Join Toastmasters. Toastmasters is an international organization mm -hmm. with two tracks, leadership and communication skills, because you want to speak in front of a variety of groups. If you practice just in front of the mirror and you get good at it, well, when you get up in front of that group, it's like, whoa, mm -hmm. <laughs> not, as, not as easy to do. But one of the things is the golden nugget to, excuse me, the silver nugget to becoming a better speaker and lessening that fear is practice, practice, practice. The golden nugget is speak, speak, speak. The learning is in the doing. Mm -hmm. There's no magic pill you can take. So going back to even childhood, when you have little children that are afraid to, to speak, they cower behind their, their mom. Is there anything that we can do within our, our families, with our children, in our society to encourage people to, to speak out? Yeah, I think just encourage them. Just say, you know, go ahead and do it. Talk about the successes they've had and other things. One of the things we talk about, Sarah, is for most people, getting up in front of a group is out of our comfort zone. Well, if we get out of our comfort zone, we make it larger, mm -hmm. and we'll tackle other things. So encourage that person. You, you got on a bicycle, right? You didn't know how to ride a bicycle. You fell off. You got back on. Try this. Mm -hmm. And it really helps. It's very powerful for people. So when you start coaching with somebody, what's one of the first things that, that you would recommend that they do or that you do with them? Well, first of all, it might be because of the fear of public speaking. Mm -hmm. And I assure them they're not alone. Mm -hmm. Lots of people have a fear of public speaking. Probably 75% of the population to one degree or another. Mm -hmm. You know, as Jerry Seinfeld, the great comic, said, most people given the option at a funeral rather be in the box than give the eulogy. <laughs> So there is some comfort in numbers. There's even a word for it, glossophobia. Glosso from the Greek tongue, phobos, fear. Mm. And as I've done my research on the fear of public speaking, I've found it's an equal opportunity fear. It doesn't care about your age, education, or occupation. I've coached doctors and lawyers, a father with a bride-to-be. I think he started having panic attacks the day his daughter got engaged. So it's an equal opportunity fear. And it can be controlled. You don't want to get rid of it completely. What Toastmasters says, and I love this, 
take that nervous energy, those butterflies in your stomach, and get them to fly in formation. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah make them work for you, that energy. So we're going to take a quick break, um, Fred, but when we come back, I want to talk about the, um, the elements of a good presentation or a good speech. We'll, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail. So stay with us at STL TV Live. We'll be right back with more from Fred Miller and No Sweat Presentations.